Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Welcome to A Day in the Life. Now, on Sunday, I went with a friend of mine, Beth, to a contra dance. Now, what's a contra dance? Well, if you saw it just walking in, you'd think it was a square dance, but it's not. It actually hails from um, English, French, Scottish, and African roots. Uh, it has a live band. Uh, this particular one consisted of a bass player, a keyboard player, and a violinist, or a fiddle player, actually. It wasn't really a violin, it was a fiddle. And many times you'll have a fiddle and a banjo, or a fiddle and a banjo and a bass, or a fiddle and a keyboard and a banjo, or a keyboard and a fiddle and a bass. So, you know, it varies. But it looks a lot like a square dance, except it's far more complex, in my opinion. Um, the square in a square dance is eight people. In a contra dance, it's four. And also, in a contra dance, you dance with lines, lines and lines of people. Uh, it's very interesting, so I thought I would show you a contra dance and let you experience it for yourself. So, here it is. <laughs> So if you're paying attention to the dance, you'll notice that the original four people that are dancing together change. Two of the people go to another group and make another group of four. And that happens during the entire dance. They shift from here to here to here, and they continue to do the same dancing. Now, there's a caller in contra dancing, much like square dancing, except the caller will teach the group of people what the dance is, and then once they feel they're comfortable with their moves, they stop calling and let them dance to the music without calling. That never happens in a square dance. But I think the moves in contra dancing are a bit more complex than the moves in square dancing. Now, I square danced as a child, um, but uh, contra dancing, when I was watching it, very intricate. <laughs> Now, each contra dance is different, meaning when they're done with this song, they start another one, and that dance is totally different than the first one. And then the third dance is totally different than the second or first one. So, they had to learn dances each time. So, you know, it's quite an arduous task in my mind, but they have a lot of fun. Perhaps next time I go, I may actually dance. <laughs>
You may also notice that you get to dance with a lot of people. So you're not just dancing with one person. So if you go to a contra dance with a person, expecting to dance with just that person, not going to happen. You're going to dance with pretty much everybody at the contra dance. So it's a joyous occasion, a lot of fun. You meet a lot of people. I highly recommend it, even though that time...